Hello and welcome to another video. This week, I'm gonna be dressing out of my girlfriend's closet. Mine, my closet. Her closet. So I haven't done a lot of style challenges. In fact, most of the videos on my channel are about food. Yum. Which is great. It's good. I like it. But I have supervised a lot of style challenges on Sophia's channel, so I'm excited to finally participate in one of them. He knows that we wear it for a week. I'd say we have pretty different styles. Sophia wears a lot of black, a lot of dresses, a lot of black dresses, and not a lot of gym shorts. No, that's that's all true. That's me, I like gym shorts. That's where we diverge. Saf also wears a lot of weird clothing, as some of you might know, which I'm very excited for, because I want to get my hands on those. I want to see you in those plastic pants. Keep your eyes on the thighs. So this week, I'm going to dress how Sophia normally dresses out of her closet, but then I'm also going to see what I can't muster up as an outfit that I might like. Get my chest hair in there. Oh yeah, that'll look nice. I call it the Forbidden Forest. It Aragog's whole family lives up in there. Yeah, no, this is like literally Hagrid's face. <laughs> okay, let's go raid Sophia's closet. Okay, so for day one, I went with this casual jean look. It's sort of like me inching my way into Sophia's closet, something that she wears often, but that I also see myself wear. So in this outfit, I chose a black lace-up hoodie, these light wash jeggings, and these black Nike something or others. Sneakers. Sneakers. <laughs> I've seen Sophia wear this outfit at the mall, out to lunch. I feel like this is something that Sophia wears pretty much for any occasion. Something I'm happy about and surprised by is how well everything fits. It was probably a little bit more form-fitting than my own wardrobe, which is like a little bit baggier. Your wallet's sticking out of your pocket. Yeah, these are very shallow pockets. I feel like if there's a pickpocket around, I'd be easy pickings. But, I mean, in terms of the items themselves, totally par for the course of what I might wear. You kind of just look like you're a little bit just selling some tickets to the gun show. Oh, to the gym last week. The only difference between my average hoodie that I'm wearing and this hoodie was the exposed chest hair. I don't feel safe. I think Sophia approved. I approve. Also, the outfit being a little tighter, like almost made it kind of stylish. You do have a little bit of like a mid 2000s Fallout Boy vibe. Look at this a little piece of hair right in front of my face. Thanks for the memories. And overall, as the first outfit, I really did feel like it was an intersection of my style and Sophia's style. So this was a really easy first day. So for my second outfit, I took on the yoga pants. You always hear about how comfortable yoga pants are. And to this point, I've never had any. And then once we started this challenge, all of a sudden, I got a ton of yoga pants to try out. So this outfit, I have this t-shirt that says, I woke up like this, a jacket that says, love yourself, and Birkenstocks. In terms of the specific items, I've seen Sophia wear all of them. I actually wear that shirt in public a lot. <laughs> this is a great, I love this. I woke up like this. In terms of yoga pants, I think like yoga pants are like Sophia's like de facto, this is the pants that I'm wearing. These are so springy. Like they're so comfortable, like what? is this material. <laughs> Besides some unfortunate bulging in the crotchal region, I mostly enjoyed the pants. I kind of liked how they had like a little bit of a snap back. They uh, shape my booty, so I'm getting a little bit of that tight bun feeling. Ow, ow! In general, I actually kind of felt like a rock star in this outfit. Especially even like the tight pants, like a yeah. 70s rock star, like Jimmy Page with really tight pants on, you just... It being black or mostly black also made it look more dressed up. Like I look like I'm ready to go out at night. The Birkenstocks are comfortable, but I think this look would have been better if I had like thrown on like a pair of Sophia's combat boots or something. I really should be wearing like chunky boots probably. I have those. Even like heel boots, like a glam rock band, like almost like Kiss. I did think that this outfit was kind of inspiring. Like I might want to go out and get like a, my own rendition of this. But as for this specific outfit, I think that the bulging would make this somewhat limiting. Like I felt like we couldn't go to Disney. Disneyland. You have to buy those now. Not. <laughs> so for day three, I took on the skirt for the first time. I figured it could just be like a modern rendition of a kilt. I guess they still wear kilts in Scotland. A rendition of the kilt. So this outfit has this black t-shirt with the little cat giving the middle fingers, this purple skirt, and these Birkenstocks. So given the parameters of this week, I was pretty interested to try out a skirt because I like gym shorts. And the skirt seems like a less sectioned off gym short. I feel so free and limber. I think that you look pretty good in the skirt. I like um, the calf. The calf action is pretty good. I'm down. Easy access. I think visually this was very different from my usual style. Um, only because of the skirt. But in terms of comfort, the same, if not better. Cold knees, cold toes. They're a little chilly. It's a little breezy out here. I think that wearing gym shorts has gotten me ready for it though. 
I had the denim jacket, so I had warmth up top, and then I had comfort down low. I really couldn't complain. I feel very lightweight. Although all of the clothes for the week are softs, this outfit was the most copy-pasted from her, item for item. The outfit is very much like me. Like, you kind of look like me from the neck down. Can't tell the difference. Honestly, like, give me a couple weeks, I could grow that calf hair. Oh yeah, no, if I shave my legs, I'd be, who is it, Sophia or Tyler? In terms of whether or not I'm gonna wear this again, I don't have any problems with the skirt, but I need to also make the skirt my own a little bit. Fashion around me, rather than just modeling it after Sophia. On day four, I went for an all black Morticia sleeve dress look. So in this outfit, I paired this bell sleeved black dress with these leggings and these cat middle finger slides. Sophia wears this dress a fair amount. She really likes these bell sleeves. She really likes this Morticia look. And I really wanted to wear something that was like one of Sophia's favorite items. Don't hit yourself. Because Sophia likes this because it's kind of dramatic. Like she can throw her arms up and it looks like a bat. I almost feel like Squidward. And when I put this on, immediately I felt dramatic. Renaissance-y, Shakespearean. Yeah, I think you kind of have like a bard vibe. Yes. I maybe kind of like want to talk to like a skull. To peel or not to peel? <laughs> to water bottle or not to water bottle? I got your sleeve stuck in the door. <laughs> These are slides that Sophia in previous videos has projectiled at me. Was that a trick? I also wanted to bring back the yoga pants without the aforementioned bulging problem. And the dress was long enough to provide some security in that area. The big win of today is the yoga pants without fear of bulgage. I will say there was something to having a top that was like really fun. First, I take a lobster and I put it into my sleeve and out of there emerges. A kitty. It wasn't easy to eat in though, so I would not want to wear it again. I like a lot of handheld food, and I feel like this dress would be dangerous for those kinds of foods. So I'm gonna rule it out. So for day five, I went back in for round two with the skirt. This outfit consists of a mother of dragon sweater, this more straight cut skirt, and these white high top sneakers. And I call it the Khaleesi kilt. Whee! dragons. So in day four, I tried the dress and by day five, I decided I'm more of a skirt guy. I like the kilt vibe. It's very comfortable. I like that it kind of is like a pseudo gym short. And you can also pair it with a different top, which you can't do with the dress. You're a little beholden to the dress. I'm going to be honest, this skirt outfit suits you. Show me your little pockets. Oh, I got pockets on this thing? You didn't know? I just found them actually. Now, it really checks every box. I chose the sneakers because they're a little big for Sophia, so they fit me pretty darn perfectly. I really think these sneakers are pulling this look together for you. I do too. Like, I think the Birkenstocks kind of threw off the last outfit. Yeah, they're, they're too casual. Exactly. I need to dress it up a little bit. Overall, I like the style of this outfit better, but there were some practicality things that came up. So when I sit down with a skirt on, do I want to be sitting on the skirt or do I want my legs to be sitting on the chair? I would prefer to be sitting on the skirt. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I still gotta practice sitting down then. <laughs> Every once in a while it just scoots back up and then I'm sitting boxer to bare butt on chairs. And I also had a question about toilets. Do I leave the skirt on? Since it's mine, I'd prefer you take it off entirely. But... That's a good point. I think that this outfit does have me wondering, like if I introduce one of my hoodies, my own pair of sneakers, maybe I could throw in my skirt. Why be confined by jeans? Why be confined by gym shorts. I just have so much range of motion. As long as it doesn't blow up, we're still good. So for the first couple of days, I went more for like Sophia style, or at least like a hybrid of Sophia and my style. And for the last couple of days, I wanted to explore the closet just a little bit. So for day six, I went for Sophia's 1977 polyester girl outfit. I call this outfit Boogie T. <laughs> so this outfit's got a lot of parts. It's got a button down shirt, brown polyester pants, a suede brown jacket, an orange ascot, which is a word I learned recently, this brown belt, and these loafers, and a little heel. I feel like you'd be like a, a grown up Brady Bunch boy. So in the original 1977 video, when we talked about this outfit, we had mentioned that it was unisex. So I figured let's put that to the test. This shirt makes me want to wear matching 70s blouses. The jacket was a little bit tight in the back. I was afraid of a little bit of a Bruce Banner situation. I could rip it. So I'm trying to be careful. I'm not trying to hulk through this thing. But the pants, I'll be a little tight, had a nice cupping effect to them. Oh, yep, that's a nice view. Oh yeah. Foxy Papa. On Sophia, it gave her kind of like an investigator, Charlie's Angels vibe. And on me, it kind of like was kind of like a swanky dude going out. You wanna go listen to my Almond Brothers CD, record, LP? Vinyl, it's vinyl. I'm not sure how much of it was the outfit or my mustache, but they complimented each other. We knew it was gonna be relevant at some point. It was gonna come in handy. It was like Butch Cassidy 
and Sundance Kid. One thing about this outfit is it got like probably the most vocal feedback of all the outfits so far. Because I think in most of the other outfits, it's just kind of like a skirt. You do you. Yeah, exactly. And this is like, what? Are you going to a party? <laughs> Somebody also mentioned that it looked like Fred from Scooby-Doo. Ooh. All right, gang, split up. I think it's the ascot. I'm enjoying wearing this. When I saw Sophia wearing it, I knew I wanted to try it myself. And I'm getting to walk a mile in this actual suede jacket suit thing. Pantsuit. So for day seven, I went for Sophia's ugliest outfit in the world. This outfit includes the ASOS band ruffle t-shirt, the clear plastic pants, the Tiva Uggs, and the $700 Slender Man jacket. I also can't fix my hair because I got like the sleeves. You can't adjust your pants and you can't adjust your shirt and you can't do anything. I can't scratch my behind if I need to, no. So I filmed Sophia in all of these outfits and we've had a lot of fun with them and I wanted to take them out for a spin. I would say that there's an underwater vibe to this outfit because it feels like I have tentacles and then it looks like I'm wearing like a scuba suit on the bottom. The clear plastic pants were surprisingly humid and they smushed down my leg hair so they weren't that comfortable. It's not It's not looking good down it's there. It's kind of matting it down. We've done some cleaning on them so they're not quite as foggy as they were like a month ago but they still make a f ton of noise. And then the jacket, jacket's marvelous. I was very envious watching Sophia with this jacket and I was very happy to put it on. I think for me, I'm like a little fidgety. So this is like a built-in like fidget spinner. This is stating the obvious, but we did not return it. We thought it might come in handy. Also, they did see our video, so probably weren't gonna pull off returning it. I like this sort of like um, long noodle effect. Yeah, I got like linguine right here. I got like ravioli. All together, it's complete nonsense. But individually, they're all fun and they all have their own charm in their own way. It's funny because you're kind of wearing pants on your arms, but no pants on your legs. It's the inverse outfit. So even though it wasn't my own style, I kind of was like, I am wearing the ugliest outfit. Let's embrace it. I'm not sure these are gonna come off. Ooh, they smell okay, actually. They are a little wet though. So that was my week dressing out of Sophia's closet. It was a fun experiment, a lot of new outfits, new types of clothing that I mm -hmm. wore. So I never worn a dress or a skirt before this week. And I will say it was very breezy, mm. but it did live up to my expectations in terms of comfort. I think that the second attempt at the skirt was in addition to never having worn a dress or a skirt before, I never worn yoga pants, which was a big first for me as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would say like yoga pants, maybe a little underwhelming, not necessarily in the comfort department, but in the um, visual comfort department because it allowed for a lot of visibility in the nether regions. They cling. Which is dangerous. I did think it was really fun to have like an all of a sudden new closet though. There's just a lot of new clothes for me to mm -hmm. experiment with and I really did get to explore. I have somewhat of a limited closet myself, and so all of a sudden, I had so many options, especially in the ugly clothes department. Yeah, I have a lot of those. You, you have a lot. So Sophia dressed out of my closet this week, mm -hmm. and now that she's more acquainted with my wardrobe, I think she knows a little bit better what I might need. Yes. So we're gonna open a room on Next Beat, a little shop along, if you will, a mini makeover for me, where Sophia buys me some outfits. Yes, I'm gonna buy outfits for him. The link will be in the description below. Yes. Smash it. Also, even if this video's been up for a while, you can still click on that Next Beat link and see our vlog yeah. and see what I got for Tyler and, and how it ended up. It'll be like a little bonus vlog to this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you smash smash or gently tap the like button. And if you want more videos like this, make sure you smash or gently tap that subscribe button. Thank you guys again for watching. Hope to see you on next beat and we'll see you guys next time. Smash it. It's not about the smash only. Smash it. Okay, there's nothing we can do. We've lost her to the smash.